But this is an automated Nerf turret. Um, it uses this largely unmodified internals from a Nerf gun. <coughs> shoots small foam pellets. The system uses a camera on the front to track our large green target. And uh, when it's locked on, we can shoot our balls at it. Uh, we have a couple of switches on here. We have a safety that enables the system. And then we have a fire switch. And the fire switch doesn't do anything unless the system considers itself locked on. It's programmed to look for that green ball. And as you can see right now, it's scanning the room trying to find it. And it's not locked on to anything, but it's looking for it. Um, we have an HDMI display here, which shows what the camera sees. Um, so it thresholds a color image to look for things that are bright green, and it shows them as white on the sort of surface, and everything else is black. And that's the sound it makes when it's locked on. So it's very loud when we spin it up, so we wanted to show you guys all the sounds while it's turned off. This is the sound it makes when it shoots. And it activates these two servos on the top system, which have a couple links, which manage the trigger system, the trigger system from the Nerf gun. Alright, I'm going to fill it up. We'll shoot. So the way the camera works is that it sees a particular shade of color that we can preset. And this is the color we chose because it was not terribly common. Um, and so it sees every, every pixel that it sees, it treats as mass, and it finds the center of that mass. The system is using um, a camera vision library called OpenCV. It's an open source uh, camera vision library developed by Intel and some other people. And that all runs on an ARM-based uh, microcomputer similar to Raspberry Pi. The computer brings in um, pictures from the camera, thresholds them, processes them, displays them to the screen, and then communicate serially with our PIC to tell the PIC what to do. The PIC controls all four servos, and it also um, reads our switches on the back. It's a standard power supply from a desktop computer. Um, it gives us a 5 volt rail at 30 amps, which controls all of our motors and sensors and the PIC and all the other peripherals. And then we also have a battery pack which controls the two flywheels because they need a lot of current. This right here is our small ARM-based computer. It's called an Odroid. <coughs> And this is our pick soldered down to a breadboard. Trigger, there's a gate. If there's balls in a row, it lets one through and catches it. And then it stops and opens it up so that um, only one ball's in the firing area at a time. And then the second one down here um, pushes balls towards the flywheels. <laughs>